Hello, hi, and welcome back to my kitchen. How are you? Guess what? It's bow time! Look, we have Chick-fil-A, Bojangles, Popeyes, KFC, who am I forgetting? Chick-fil-A. Which I love me some Chick-fil-A. I wish they would do whole chicken, but anyway, that Jesus chicken is beats all this, what I'm getting into. But, let's look. I just took edibles too, and I, when you take edibles, I use them for pain and, and so forth, um, and they're legal, so if you don't think they work, then you're not using the right ones. I use and sponsor and promote uh, Hello Mood, and things will put you on your butt. Any inquiries, because that's an adult product, hit me up in the comments. Oh, there's that. Now, so Hubby said, he told me the other day, he said, I'm going to get my get off work Friday. Me, I'm like, it's Friday. You ain't got shit to do. You going to get... Oh, he can't because of his job. <laughs> so I'm like, it's Friday. I ain't got shit to do. Anyway, if you know, you know. Oh, Lord, I'm down here showing my, showing my legs. What? I'm wearing my, my Barbie t-shirt. And my amulet. I don't know how you say it. Amulet? 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 Anyway, the chicken must be good. I haven't heard my husband. Oh, he got me some chicken legs. Lord, I love me some chicken legs. That piece had, I, you know, I don't have the teeth because y'all, some of y'all that know me, know me. And on, on my other side of this vlog, to you guys know that, you know, I suffer with bone disease. And that piece had a big old, God, what I wouldn't have done, give to had teeth for about two minutes. It had the biggest extra fried dough, crispy chunk, and I was like, I can't eat this. So I immediately went to find my husband's mouth, and I just, he was in the middle of doing something. I was like, just open your mouth. He didn't even ask the question. I could have just slipped him some cyanide, but I gave him the crunchy part because he went out and he bought me my favorite. Because he said, I want me some fried chicken from Bojangles for Friday night supper. I said, all right, all right. I said, well, get me four chicken legs. Oh, I would eat one now, but when you when I do edibles and I do you, oh Lord, good moisturizer gonna make my little press on nails. Maybe it'll make this heal. Good Lord, right now I done put everything in the house on that. Lord have mercy. Let's put some grease on it. <laughs> As if Neosporin for a week didn't take care of them. I'm telling you, these press on nails are fun, especially if you don't want your hands looking all jacked. But anyway. And unlike Bojangles, no, unlike Popeyes, you won't choke on this biscuit because they really are light and fluffy. What will happen is if I don't eat this, which I'm a diabetic, this is a no-no. I'll probably wrap it up and let it turn into a brick or something. I don't know. I will probably take a few bites of it, but that's a no-no for diabetics. But they do have good biscuits. Get them while they're hot, though, because even, even my grandmother and elderly women that I've known throughout my life that could make bread by their hands. As a matter of fact, this bowl is over 100 years old. It's been in my family. My grandmother made biscuit bread. My grandfather could cook. He could out cook my granny. Um, her mother had it. Her mother had it. Her mother had it. So I'm probably going to induct that into the South Carolina. Uh, we have a plantation row history plantation houses and and they call it a slave market literally but i was going to put this in one of the places in in our historical society um it doesn't have to have a mark because they only made wooden bowls out of necessity back then nowadays you can get a wooden bowl for the for the heck of it anyway I'm, i just got way off because when i take dinner apples plus we're southern we're friendly we talk way too much it's my second time filming because I hit the wrong button because I had too much grease. Okay, hold up. Napkin. I made that. What do you think? Not those. This. The little box. Anyway. Oh, I can't stand that grease. Ooh. Alright. So, why isn't there light? Oh, there is light. So... The good part about dirty rice, now this is why I've been in a few states, they don't they don't know what this is. And this franchise, 
the West Coast has stuff that we don't got, but we're starting to get. But the South, where I'm at, it's kind of slow. And, you know, you can look at my backyard. You see that, this area up here? I'm surrounded by that. Neighbors are bears, coyotes, wolves, rabbits. Oh, I have the cutest little bunnies you should see. But anyway, this, this here is what we call dirty rice. If I use my true Southern flair. Now, I really don't want to do a taste test just because I, I, I screwed up and took some edibles and they leave that, that synthetic part that you do get a little buzz from. And I use that lightly and it is for adults only. That product. Um, this has a... I, it leaves a funny taste in your mouth. And, and besides, I won't get the munchies or get hungry for a little while. But this is sausage and pepper and a little pimento, a little red pepper. Um, it's really good if you take and sop it in here where you can see my first take. <laughs> it was too long anyway. I was just jabbering as if y'all were sitting here in the same house. Y'all are you. I don't know. Uh, my views changed, so I think I did something wrong because one of my accounts got jacked up. Anyway, there's that. Or YouTube's just being a pain in the ass. So usually we eat the beans with the rice. Mmm. Oh, my body made a mess. Mm-hmm. You can eat them alone. But they're best together. What I'll do is when I'm ready to eat, is I'll find a different bowl in the house and I'll mix them together. I had to follow a brat diet because, you know, they did find that tumor. So they don't want to say it too loud. But, you know, I did have some gastric problems earlier in the year. Surgery. We made it, though. And thank God, no cancer. But, yep, I'm going to tear two of them up. Maybe a little bit of bite of biscuit. I don't know. Maybe to eat the inside. I'm going to tear that shit up. Let's wow. And mm, going to play the fart game with the old man. <laughs> you know, you play it. We all play the fart game, right? Anyway, I'm starting to babble and sitting on top of this high ass bar still being high. I think I need a step ladder. Oh, and the latest on the orchid. There you go, girlfriend. You asked how it was. It's still holding in there. It's the other one I'm concerned about. <laughs> Bamboo will live in anywhere, but anyway. Thanks for stopping by. I'm about to fall out this damn chair. <laughs> Bye, peace.